on a nice, cosmetically pretty court. One that is playing pretty quick for his serve in this opening game. And a little serve volley play. And there's a hold at love. Let's hear some of Roger's comments. Well, that's a perfect example right there of what Federer did very well and, and part of that process, Chris, that you're talking about. You know, Federer's that's nature, volleyers in tennis. There's some offense right there. Roger, wow. lost a point on serve yet. And the crowd is, is into it, and they're, obviously, it's completely sold out. And they've, I think they've kind of helped set the tone here. And so they're not really used to doing the many exos. So <laughs> there, as he hits three overheads before winning it with the soft volley. <laughs> oh yes, yeah. to all. A serious tennis crowd. They're not looking for to be amused here. I don't think. Nice return. But Andy Murray and had the knee problem, had to pull out of that match. Murray, in fairness, was a seriously outplaying him up two sets. But I mean, when you think of, would you have was back and obviously went on that that tremendous run on the clay where he lost just two sets. Hey, you're right. As he rips the forehand for the winner, that Monte Carlo event, many believe the best tennis he's ever played. Certainly had the long match against Murray in the semis. Wow, another explosive forehand from Nadal from behind the court. In Madrid once in the in the final on clay. So I think that you know that big match atmosphere that was in London. Grab a break and serve for the set. Devastating one two tennis from Nadal, and it gives him three set points. This is uh, just ruthless. He held his hand up afterwards because it hit the net, but man, is he going after that ball? There's yeah. the set. That's what set. Staying out of the predicting business right now. Yeah. I think the thing that's as interesting as anything, Patrick, when these guys get in the court is a better to get that win over him because I think, quite honestly, the Dallas had a little bit of a psych on him. You can say, well, most of the matches have been on clay that Nadal is one of them. That's true, but. That's well done. Yeah, yeah, good and there is the break. First for Federer. Going to get too many calls. Well, team's a good buddy. They've worked together on charity things before. Oh, 
That's the shot that uh, Fedders really looks like he's improved. You know, to step in on that high ball. Let's see how high this one gets up. So you see how he takes a little couple stutter steps, Chris? That's. Backhand as Rafa kind of fed it yeah, back to Roger. Yeah. Wicked dipping shot by Federer. The defense there. Yeah. Oh. Just wicked the way he can create those angles and. Day at home after the BCS before we head down to Melbourne. <laughs> That's we right. Down there, yeah. Quicker points to take more chances to not get into the long rallies. And so that's forced Nadal to win at 6 1, playing that aggressive style. Oh, yeah. Match. First serve percentage was low. Oh, a little shift time. Cliff Drysdale and I were finishing up. After the match, we had to be, been up there for a good 25, 30 minutes, and we looked down. To the, we'd already would won the French Open. Eagerness, I'd say. I'm going to get this to the third set. Oh, that's beautifully caressed. They love the Swiss fans. They love the magic of Federer. They just eat that kind of stuff up. Who doesn't? Well, it's true. There are like websites devoted to his uh, shots of genius. Uh oh. Nadal wrong-footed by that wide serve. Don't pull anything, Rafa. No. And he had the great run at the French as well. Oh, wow. That's beautifully constructed right there. That's the shot that's really helped Federer also. Oh, well done. Great feel from the doll. Not many number one in the world guys do. Shocked to see him behind the curtain, traveling between Cincy and the U.S. Open. He's going to go <laughs> win it. <laughs> Question is, were you? Where were you sitting? That's what I want to know. Such a good team. Yep. Tina Dow can actually took a couple of steps in there. Played a pretty good match against Federer on Sunday. It was two sets to one. And look at this. This was just ridiculous. What he's done with his foundation, now his own school. I mean, he's talking about he's taking it to a whole nother level. Wow. wow. <laughs> Not. Rafa would eventually pass Federer? I'd say 28%. Okay. I mean, the big question is Sampras Agassi <laughs> later tonight. What a double bill. Nice double bill. I'll have that for you. Looking forward to being there for that one. Was there a couple of years ago, you were there, Chris, when Federer played Sampras. That's a 90% serve to the backhand of a right-hander in that court.
half-hearted approach from Nadal left himself wide open. Yeah, Roger just had to take one step and had all sorts of territory up the line. There's some very questionable tactical decisions made by Nadal in that game, that's for sure. <laughs> and Federer gets the break. Back from the five-hour marathon against Verdasco, but shopping in Zurich. No, no. Oh. Hello. In Spain. Huge forehand there. I love that play from Federer. I do. Yep. Oh, hello. Just handshake and a hug. Thanks for the hospitality. Now let's go to my place. So from three all in the final set, Nadal's serve goes away a bit. Federer able to close it out with the second break of serve in that final set.